In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these really fun trophies for your gaming needs. But before we get into today's video, just want to share with you what the GGGGs are for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month of December of 2023, we have this printed and painted terrain from the Battlefield Kickstarter. We have two pledges for the Battlefield Builder Kickstarter. We have three people that will receive these Wound Tracker STLs that one of my Patreon supporters made. And finally, we have two all-in pledges for the Strongberg Kickstarter. Go ahead and use the link below to go to my Patreon page to find out more information on how you can be a Patreon supporter. And you will get access to all of the STL files, at least down here, the bases and everything so that you can create your own. So I've made a couple of these so far and these are just super fun ways to have fun with your friends, whether that is a tournament. And right now this is for a dead zone tournament that we're wrapping up at my friendly local gaming store. We're having a dead zone tournament wrap up that's happening uh, this coming weekend. So I am creating some of these trophies to be able to hand out for first, second, and third place for the campaign. Basically, this is just a simple block, a pedestal that's printed out. Uh, I think I printed this at 10%, 0 0.3 millimeter height or whatever is the tallest that you can print. So that just because it prints fast, there aren't a bunch of detail to it. And then I have these sort of slide in things. I created it so that you can slide these plaques into it because one of the things that I wanted to do was to do two stage printing, color printing. And this is where, at least in Prusa Slicer, um, if someone who uses other slicers can tell me if this is a feature that you can do, but basically in Prusa Slicer, after you slice a file, you can set layers where you swap out the filament in order to color it. Obviously with multicolor printers like the Bamboo Labs with AMS, you don't need to do that. I didn't get the AMS because it's expensive and I just find it easy to swap it out like this. So basically what I do is I set my slicer so that it stops after it prints this uh, black layer. And then once it gets to the next layer, the printer will beep at me. It'll stop and pause the printing, it will beep at me and then I'll swap out the filament. And here I just put on white and then it printed the rest of this layer on up in that second color. Here I did it with these name plaques as well, but this time I swapped out for yellow PLA. So that's a really quick and simple way that you can put lettering on. And again, uh, just using Microsoft 3D Builder, you can do this quite easily. And then I put these pegs here as well because these name plates will snap on because I don't know who the winners are yet. This way at the end of the tournament, we'll count up all the points and see who won. And then um, I'll be able to then snap on these name plates according to who is all participating since I know uh, who's in the group and I'm able to put it on. Now uh, here I made this special one for one of the kids that plays a son. He's pretty young, but um, just to encourage him as the youngest player in our group. Uh, so I know that Archer is going to be winning this one. So I can go ahead and snap it in place. You don't even need glue. You just put it in and it just snaps in place. So that's one of the things that I really like about this system. With one of my traveling trophies that I have for when we play Zombicide Black Plague, I made it so that once uh, someone wins it, they'll bring it to the next game and someone else can win it. We just glue these nameplates around so that there can be up to four winners with these traveling trophies. That's another reason why I like this sliding uh, plaque here too. So that's super awesome. And then I print out these bases separately so that it fits right here. And the reason why I print it out separately is because I'm gonna spray paint this the same color as the miniatures. And here are some of the One Page Rules miniatures. These are the Ratman from One Page Rules. I already had them since I'm su subscribed to them. And in Dead Zone, there is a faction of Ratman called Veer Men. So it is one of the factions and I decided to go with that faction to put onto these trophies. And here, um, all I did was I increased the size up to 200%. So these are just normal uh, 32 millimeter miniatures that I just boosted up. And then I tilted it in my slicer and I basically used, it, used auto supports in Lychee. I've actually found the auto supports to be pretty good. I didn't have to 
um, support, uh, add any additional custom supports to it, just using the auto supports, I was able to print out all of these with no failures. And you can grab whatever STL file that you want. Since there's like thousands and thousands of miniature options, you can go to My Mini Factory and pick out any miniature that really fits the occasion. So for example, with Zombicide, I actually download, I found a zombie that I really liked, and I think it's sort of a HeroScape version of a zombie, and I uh, blew that up again, 200%. I think it might've been a little bit more than that, and uh, glued it on. And the reason, again, why the base is separate is because I'm gonna spray paint all of this the same color. So this is my system of creating these just fun little trophies for events things like that, it's relatively cheap. Obviously these are resin printed. You can, when you blow up miniatures larger, you can go ahead and FDM print them, but because I have resin printer, I just went ahead and uh, opted for the awesome detail that you can get off of the resin printer versus the FDM. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you uh, find these videos to be helpful. That helps me out a lot. And then again, use my Link below to go to my Patreon page so that you can have access to these STL files where there's a link in the Patreon exclusive section of my Discord channel. You do need to access the Discord channel. So go ahead and message me once you become a Patreon supporter if you don't know how to link up your Discord username to the Gaming Geek Discord channel and you'll find it there. So. Hopefully this is helpful for you and you can make these fun little trophies for your gaming buddies whenever you have a tournament or a fun night of gaming. We'll see you next time.